So time's come to do some upgrade work on the Kronos. So uh, I haven't had it very long, but this version has uh, 3.0.2 on it. Um, looking on the Kronos website earlier on, it's uh, 3.0.4, and there's also a firmware update that uh, should be applied to the keyboard. So I'm going to run through putting the firmware on first, um, and then we'll move on to the operating system at some point. So the first very important thing is um, make sure the computer is unplugged. Um, I've done this sort of thing before with these keyboards. Um, when they say um, make sure it's unplugged, they really do mean make sure it's unplugged. You don't want to plug up the thing. So here goes. So the first thing is to put the keyboard into uh, update mode. You do this by pressing the enter and pause keys and switching the keyboard on. The keyboard comes on and you know it's in update mode because apparently the IB LED will be on and also you'll notice that the screen is completely blank. So the next thing they ask you to do is obviously plug the USB in. Now what you should be doing is plugging that USB cable into the back of the keyboard. It's known as a B connector, whereas the A connector, which is the spade style connector, should be the one that's plugged into your laptop. So the first thing um, you need to do is obviously go to the Korg website, download the Kronos update file. Um, I've already done that, so it's sitting here. The other thing that's important about this is because it's coming from a source that the uh, Apple don't uh, recognize as a trusted source per se, um, you have to open the file from Finder. You can't just double click on the file in Downloads. Um, so in order to do that, what you do is you press down the control key while you're double clicking the file. You get a menu comes up, click open, that should mount the executable. And then to open the file itself, you do the same again, control file, click open, and it should say that it's uh, downloaded from the internet, do you want to open it? Yes, I do. Click on that. And then up comes the, um, the updater. Now, um, surprisingly, my Kronos actually has the latest fir firmware on it, which I'm quite surprised about given the fact it doesn't have the latest OS on it. Um, but that's good news. Um, if it didn't have the uh, the latest fi uh, firmware on it, it, the update button would be available, and I could then click on the update button, and it would then run through the uh, update process on the Korg itself. Um, but I, it looks like I'm in a good position, so I'm not going to go any further with that. I'm actually going to close this down. So the final thing to do is put the Kronos back into normal mode, and you do that by switching the keyboard off, counting to a count of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then switching the keyboard back on, like so. And if it all has gone right, there you go, there is the Kronos startup screen.